Good morning, beset second year students. We're currently taking ALS 22, which is the Electronics Workshop Practice 1. Uh, by the way, this is your course facilitator. This is Sir Kenji E. Mirenciano. And today, um, we're going to discuss the technical report as one of the important requirements for this uh, course. A while ago, you presented your proposed uh, two individual projects and one group project. This time class, I'm going to present naman um, yung technical report. Aside from the uh, uh, three or two tangible outputs for your project, kailangan po niyan, it should be accompanied with a technical report. The technical report contains the details or information about the project. It, it has, uh, I think, five parts the first one is the profile of the maker or or the proponent of the project uh, you, you need to provide the details the second one uh, introduction second is the operation third is the uh, the materials or the parts list the fourth one uh, talks about the construction procedures and the last or the pip uh, is the uh, findings and recommendation after you finish the project to get to know more about it i'll give you a sample template for individual project so class here's a sample template for individual project as your technical report so here let me zoom in for you to visualize so here on this first page makikita nyo po yung uh, details Okay, it includes the picture of the proponent. Example lang to ha. The course, the instruction, student number, email, contact, what is the course subject or the subject, and the project that he or she was able to build. And it also includes the summary. How the proponent, the maker, was able to uh, develop the project from scratch. Hmm. So class, this is the content of your um, first part of the technical report. So let us now proceed to the next one. So for this page, uh, can you provide us the title of your project? Um, and then a picture that shows uh, what is uh, on your project. So let's proceed with the introduction. This provides the details. or uh, probably gathered data or information about the subject. That's why it's very important to develop your research skills in this course. So you're going to look for references, articles, of how you're going to uh, study, we're able to study and review how you're going to build the project and how does it work or function or anything related details concerning about this project. And um, based on the cited literature or web articles, kindly acknowledge the proponent or the website. So please put a reference or references. Okay? Do not just copy in total class the information. You need to acknowledge uh, the source of your information. Okay? So after the introduction, we will now proceed with the operation. So this example uh, individual project is an electronic mosquito pester and the main component of this project is the 35mm uh, uh, piezoelectric disc. So this is the, uh, it's a transducer or a condenser. Okay, so to get to know more about the specific details application of this uh, piezoelectric disc, kailangan nyo po hanapin yung technical data sheet. The technical data sheet class, makikita nyo na lahat. Lahat ng information, lahat ng application, including ano ba yung voltage capacity niya, ano ba yung uh, wattage niya, saan ba ito ginagamit, ano ba ang functions nito. Andun na po class sa technical uh, data sheet. Okay? So here are the examples.
So, yan po ang ating uh, tinatawag na um, operation. So, ulitin ko, introduction, tell us about the story behind or the data that you gathered or any information related sa electronic mosquito pester. Second is the operation. So, operation class, can you discuss to us what is the main component? What is the features of your of this component? Or specifications? A brief description. You can add history of, uh, and applications of your component. Of this component to be specific. So, the next part is the bill of materials or the parts list. Here, you're going to present the different components or materials that you use for you to be able to build this project. So, this project costs around 200, 304 pesos. Ito yung format niya or template. Just provide us the description. What type of transistor or resistor na ginamit mo? Quantity, ilan ba ang ginamit mo? Unit price and then the total price. So that is the content of our um, bill of materials in the parts list. Okay? The next part of your technical report for the technical report are the tools and equipment used in building this project. So can you list down the different materials or uh, I mean the tools and equipment used in building the electronics, uh, electronic mosquito tester? So once we were through with the tools and, equ and, equ and equipment, we will now proceed to the design. Okay. Ito yung gagawin ninyo sa Monday next meeting. So magdadala kayo ng band paper, ng, um, ng band paper, ng, what do you call this, ng ruler, tech pen, gel pen, eraser. Uh, kasi gagawa tayo ng working drawing. Sa design ng project, Kailangan, kailangan po natin ng schematic diagram, uh, PCB layout, component layout, orthographic view, and final design or output of your project. So, ulitin ko. This is the coverage of the design. You need to provide us sets of work, a set of working drawing, so which includes the schematic diagram, so the uh, which shows the different uh, components, and then the manner or the circuitry or how it is was is arranged the pcb layout uh, component uh, orthographic and uh, final design of your project so after the design class we will now proceed to the uh, procedures so this part is the step by step construction of the device so from the design, from planning, until you assemble the project. Once assembled, you're going to test the project if it's working. So tell us in details. So the format for this is you provide us the caption. The caption on how, what is meant by pictures until you were able to uh, construct the project or the, the mosquito pester. Okay, so first, check and test the components. Second, the design of the PCB. So, you're going to tell us here, paano mo ba binuo yung project? And supplement it with pictures. Hindi lang po ipapakita yung pictures, lagyan nyo po ng caption. Ano bang meaning? Ano ba nakalagay doon? What does the, uh, the picture represents? Okay, so ito po yung flow ng ating paggawa ng electronics mosquito pester. So, yung last part class pertains to the findings and recommendation. So, nag-design ka na, nag-layout ka na, after yung layout, nilagay yung mga components sa PCB, tinest mo if it if functions or nag-work. So, sa findings and recommendations, kindly tell us your observations, your experiences in building the project. So, the find sa findings, based on this example, the parts and materials used for electronics mosquito pester are low cost and locally available. Okay? So, plus, what happens if my device didn't work? Sa technical rip, ay sa workshop practice class, may instances na hindi gumagana yung project natin. So, pwede natin doon i-reflect sa technical report what are the reasons, what are the possible reasons behind why our project didn't work or didn't function. It doesn't necessarily mean class 
kapag hindi gumana yung project mo, in, you are not uh, bagsak ka. Hindi po ganun yung mindset. Hindi lahat po ng project naging successful. And that is part of learning. What we're going to do is to discuss and explain it to us in technical report. Ano ba yung mga possibilities? And and what would be your suggestion para ma-improve yung project sa mga susunod na students who will build this one? Halimbawa, uh, this project is all about electronic mosquito pester. After after he builds the project, he found out na yung piezoelectric disc is not compatible. Hindi siya suitable para makapag-repel ng mosquitoes. Limbawa, uh, the piezoelectric element based on this example is not applicable transducer or it is not suggested as a main device para mag-repel away or mag-sealisan yung mga lamok. So, further studies and research should be undertaken in order to prove that ultrasonic sounds can re repel mosquitoes. So class, ito po yung ating content ng ating gagawing technical report. So again, uh, to give you a quick recap, ito po yung format niya or template, student profile, which includes the summary, uh, the details of the mosquito pester, which includes the introduction, rationale, Operation, what's the main component needed for this project to work? Aside from that, provide us the details of this component. Excuse me. Third are the parts list, which includes the bill of materials and the total costing of the project. Fourth is the tools and equipment used for this project. Fourth, uh, this is the nitty-gritty part. Can you show us the design from systematic, uh, PCB layout, component layout, orthographic views, and then final design? The PIP one, uh, tell us the parts in details. Not, not I mean the parts. The way on how you constructed the device, how you built it from scratch, and supplement it with pictures. Okay? And the last one class are what are your observations or or to be direct, what are the findings after you did the project? And what possible recommendations can you suggest for, for future students who will come up or who would like to build this project? So class, that is um, we sum up the, uh, uh, the template for technical report intended for individual project. Plus, if you have questions, clarifications about the proposed project, uh, also the uh, contents of the technical report, feel free to message me and these are my contact details. Again, thanks, thanks for your time. Thank you for watching this video. And the attendance is in the description. So if you have questions or clarifications po, feel free to message me or you can comment from this video. Thank you class and as what I always say, uh, keep safe always.